Having great traps would add a lot to the perfection of a bodybuilder's upper part, especially the shoulders. The traps can be judged from two obligatory poses, the most muscular and the back double biceps. In the first pose, judges can see how pumped and huge the traps are, and in the second, they can see how extended and detailed the traps in a bodybuilder's back. In general, all bodybuilders who have great backs have solid traps as well. Starting with seven-time Mr. Olympia Arnold Schwarzenegger, his traps were really great in his prime time. In the most muscular pose, you can easily see how pumped and defined his traps were. Definitely not among the best ever, but still developed enough to be considered among the best in his era. Arnold back double biceps pose, in my humble opinion, was mind-blowing. His huge traps were detailed and full of striations. They added a lot to the perfection of his pose, which was unmatched in his prime time. Serge Nubray had great traps as well. His upper part was truly amazing and shows how gifted this bodybuilder was. Unfortunately, his legs never matched the greatness of his upper physique. His most muscular pose here shows how pumped and well-defined his traps were. From the back, you can still see how developed and huge yet aesthetic his traps were. Three-time Mr. Olympia Sergio Oliva had great traps as well. Although I have never admired his arms, which lacked the aesthetics Arnold had, yet Sergio's most muscular pose was simply amazing. His traps added to the greatness of his shoulders and chest. From the back, you can easily see how huge and well-developed his traps were when he hit the back double biceps. Sergio was truly unmatched until the Austrian oak dashed into the scene and rightfully dominated bodybuilding as one of the sport's greatest icons ever. The 1983 Mr. Olympia Samir Banut, who was known for having one of the greatest backs ever in bodybuilding history, had great traps as well. His most muscular pose was amazingly aesthetic and clearly showed that each muscle was in its proper place. His back double biceps pose was simply a masterpiece. His enormous traps added to the perfection of his back. They were huge, aesthetic, and simply flawless, reaching the center of his back and perfectly attaching with the top of his iconic Christmas tree. Samir easily had one of the 80s greatest physiques ever. Eight-time Mr. Olympia Lee Haney, who was also known for having one of the best backs in bodybuilding history, had solid traps as well. In my opinion, Lee Haney will always be considered as one of bodybuilding's greatest icons ever because he perfectly combined between size and aesthetics. Although not among the greatest ever, yet his traps were complete and well-defined. His back double biceps pose showed how huge his traps were, forming the shape of a giant beetle's head. Bertil Fox also had solid traps. His most muscular pose was unmatched in his prime time, and his great traps definitely added to the perfection of his pose. However, his traps didn't show well from the back. His back double biceps pose clearly shows the incredibly ripped shoulders and the gigantic biceps, which were among the best ever. Yet, his traps were not as aesthetic nor as complete as those of Samir Banut or Lee Haney. The Sultan of Symmetry, Flex Wheeler, also had great traps in his prime time. Known for being one of the uncrowned kings of Mr. Olympia, Flex traps formed with his great shoulders and arms a great most muscular pose. His back double biceps from the 1993 Mr. Olympia showed how gifted this bodybuilder was. His lines were amazing and his traps were striated, ripped, huge and incredibly aesthetic. 
The Arnold Classic winner Kevin Lavroni was also known for having great traps. His traps showed in his most muscular pose, which is widely considered among the best in bodybuilding history, due to the fact that Kevin arguably had the best shoulders ever in his prime time. However, Kevin's back was never one of his strongest muscular departments. His traps from the back, double biceps pose, were not as impressive as in his most muscular pose. Six-time Mr. Olympia Dorian Yates had great traps in his prime time. Dorian is known for having the best back in bodybuilding history. His traps added to the perfection of his back, which was incredibly huge, striated and ripped. His most muscular pose, however, was not among his best poses. And his traps in this pose were not as impressive as they were in his back poses. Eight-time Mr. Olympia Roni Coleman had great traps in his prime time. Roni's most muscular pose was truly amazing and among the best in his era. His traps added a lot to the perfection of this pose. Known for having one of the best backs ever, along with Dorian Yates, Roni's traps were huge and complete and were perfectly engraved and showed in every single back pose, whether it was the back double biceps or the rear lat spread. Roni simply nailed it from the back and that definitely was one of the reasons why he has always been considered the greatest of all time. Four-time Mr. Olympia Jay Cutler had great traps in his prime time. His most muscular pose was an incredible sight to be seen. His huge traps added to the perfection of his shoulders, chest and arms in this pose in particular. Although Jay's lower back lacked the definition and the development Roni or Dorian had in their prime, yet his traps were truly impressive and clearly showed in his back double biceps and rear lat spread. Arnold Classic winners Danis Wolf and Branch Warren both have great traps as well. These two pro bodybuilders are known for having the granite muscular physiques and known for reaching that level of muscular maturity. In my opinion, Danis has one of the greatest traps in the current era. They are huge, ripped and perfectly shaped as a crown over his enormous shoulders. His back double biceps poses clearly showed how amazingly developed his traps are. I hope Danis is fully recovered after the surgery to see him competing again on stage. The German giant Marcus Ruhl also had great traps in his prime time. Known for having some of the biggest shoulders in bodybuilding history, Marcus traps added to the size of his shoulders and formed one of the most formidable and mind-blowing most muscular poses ever. His back poses were also impressive and showed the sheer size of this monster. Marcus was a mountain of muscles in his prime time, but lacked the aesthetics top contenders usually have in their package. The giant Joel Stops, who is known for having one of the craziest backs ever, also had great traps in his prime time. I remember I came across this picture years ago and didn't know back then who this bodybuilder was. This picture clearly shows the perfect upper physique this bodybuilder had in his prime time. His back poses also showed how great his traps were. They added a lot to the sheer size of his back. The only problem Joel had was his weak legs due to an injury sustained to his knee during a basketball game. Current Mr. Olympia Phil Heath has great traps as well. His most muscular poses are easily considered among the best in the current era. His great traps add to the perfection of his incredibly huge shoulders, arms and fully rounded chest in the most muscular pose. In the back poses, Phil arguably has one of the best backs of all time when it comes to the definition and the 3D effect this muscular department has. His traps are huge, ripped and incredibly defined and easily destroy those of his main rival Kai Green, who is known for having among the weakest traps among Mr. Olympia top contenders. 
The beast, Trolley Winkler, arguably hits the greatest most muscular pose in bodybuilding history. His traps are impressive and add to the greatness of his shoulders, which are arguably considered among the greatest in the current era. His back poses, however, clearly show that he is not as impressive and would easily lose to Phil Heath, who has been beating his rivals mainly from the back. The 2008 Mr. Olympia Dexter Jackson arguably has one of the greatest traps ever. His most muscular pose shows how huge and complete his traps are. They add a lot to the perfection of this pose and would truly rank him as one of the greatest kings of traps. His back poses clearly show that his traps are well developed in their upper part which perfectly shows in the most muscular poses. However, his lower traps lack the size and the definition the likes of Dorian Yates and Phil Heath have in their back poses. The strongest bodybuilder Joni Jackson arguably has the greatest traps of all time. His most muscular poses clearly show how incredibly great his traps are. They are exceptionally huge and ripped and add a lot to the perfection of his upper physique. His back poses also show the enormous traps which are perfectly developed from the top to the bottom. Joni's only problem is his weak legs, which obviously prevented him from being among the top contenders at the Olympia contest. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe and many thanks for watching. Have a nice one.